haircut and some pampering is a great pick-me-up, and that's especially true for people who are living on the street. That's why the Natural Hair Salon in Victoria started Beauty Days at our place, and this Friday they'll do their first ever handsome day. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. Natural Hair Salon owner Natalie Grunberg Ferreira is passionate about her business. I love everything about it, uh, from like cleaning the windows to interacting with my staff to doing all the high level strategizing and marketing and business. I just, yeah, I love it. But really, it's about the culture, it's about the people. How are you? It's so nice to see you. And Natalie's now using her beauty business to help vulnerable people. I ride my bike every day, uh, so does some of our staff um, down Pandora, and often you can feel like, oh, geez, this is an insurmountable problem, like what can I do as an individual? And what I decided is actually I can't do anything, but our place can do something, and we can support our place. The salon started a beauty day at our place, offering free haircuts and manicures for dozens of women. Beauty Day is really incredible. It's my second year doing it, and it's a great opportunity to get to like reach back out into the community and really feel like you're making a difference with people. And a lot of times when they're on the street, they're just focused on survival. But to have a day of, of pampering where it's about them, uh, it's so meaningful. Meaningful because it's about so much more than just giving someone a haircut. Healthy touch is so important for people on the street. Anytime you're actually putting hands on someone, it's very, very healing. And so a haircut to me is more than a haircut, it's that connection that you're giving people. They held their hands and um, they had some cries and they had some laughs. And you know, for those moments, what they were doing was a lot bigger. They were giving someone love. Natalie's team will now be spreading the love to men with the first ever Handsome Day on June 16th. I came into this industry because I wanted to help people feel beautiful and getting an opportunity to really put my time and effort into that and help people feel beautiful, the people who are the most vulnerable in our communities who really need that, it, it just feels really incredible. Natalie's challenging other business owners to help make a difference. I think it's easy to be disgruntled and if you're a downtown business, we've been through a lot. And I just really want to challenge people to get out of that sense of being defeated and instead look at the action that we can all take. And for those that do, they usually get far more out of it than they give. It's such an honor to be able to do it. Like I, my, my uncle was like a participant in our place. And so getting the opportunity to go back to our place and like give back to something that's really helped somebody in my family is the best experience that I've ever had. The folks that are having um, difficulties on Pandora are part of our community. So if we can all remember that we're all in this together and that we're all the same, really, um, then I think we'd be much more empowered to do positive things and feel good because when you give, you get. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.